I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. In case you are under the impression that tomato hornworm only likes tomatoes, I'm here to tell you they like peppers too. Oh, look what I just discovered. This is my first experience seeing a full-size tomato hornworm in my garden. Look at that monster. Wow, that is a beautiful specimen. Hmm. The wind is just dangling it there. It's not holding on. It's not eating. Hmm. Oh, yes. It was just pausing to digest. It's eating away. This is what larvae do when they sense uh, danger. They freeze, and they're hoping their camouflage protects them and I was not able to do away with it. So I thought, hey, as long as it's already decimated this plant, I'll take it in the kitchen, it'll go through its metamorphosis, and I'll get to see what it looks like on the other side. I thought it was full size when I brought it in the kitchen. I didn't know it was gonna be in there another week. So I have resupplied it with pepper leaves and stems for four days now. And uh, I'm assuming that it's almost full size. The first time I saw a hornworm was on my tomato plant in 2014. I discovered the droppings first. I thought it was an ordinary caterpillar. I didn't see the horn until I reviewed this footage later. Very well camouflaged right on the edge of the leaf. You want to discover these before they do real damage to your plants. The second time was in September of this year on my peppers. If you see holes on leaves, look on the backside and you'll probably find some kind of larva. When it's a baby, it has this long, it's like a narwhal whale. It has this long point on one end. I always thought that's the horn. That thing kind of drops off and becomes a little crooked tail. So the whole time I was seeing these small ones, I was thinking the tail was the head. You can't tell the sex from the larval stage. So this will either be Freddy or Fred. Freddy with an IE. That's it, keep going. Go all the way to the top. Instead, okay, good luck. Yes. That's it, Freddy. Go to the top and make a cocoon. It's time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I finally got smart. <laughs> Took a while. And looked up on the internet. This does not do what a monarch larva does. This burrows in the ground and makes a pupa, not a chrysalis hanging from a branch.
So it better burrow in, because I need to get some sleep. Go on, Freddy. I threw a couple pepper leaves in there, in case it's hungry, but I don't think it is. It's just, it, it's acting like it wants out. I don't get it, so. I'm not going to get to see the metamorphosis. That's the whole point of bringing it inside. I wanted to see it change. So, what does the hornworm larva turn into? Dr. James Hogue came to my rescue with photos of what I should have found in that container of dirt. The adult moth has a four inch wingspan and hovers above flowering plants at dusk. This is what Freddie would have looked like as an adult. Quite striking. <laughs> if you're a sucker for nature like me, please let me know. And please share Late Bloomer with a friend and help Late Bloomer keep blooming. Thanks for your support. I'm Kay, I'm a Late Bloomer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Yep. What about that? Yep. It's about that long. What are you doing?